Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything. As long as we use logic and common sense. This season we're discussing issues that I've personally wrestled with with regard to the faith. Recently we've been discussing earthly riches and concluded that it's not necessarily immoral to be rich. Today we'll look specifically at the parable of Lazarus and the rich man. Does it show that rich people can't be holy? It's no secret that wealth can distract some people from their obligations to serve God and help their fellow man. The parable of Lazarus and the rich man in Luke chapter 16 is all about that. However, even in that parable, the rich man notes that if his brothers changed their ways, they wouldn't end up in hell. So there's already an indication that holiness is possible for the rich. Some have suggested that the rich man went to hell merely because he was rich or because he enjoyed his riches, but there's nothing in the parable to overtly imply this. The closest would be the words of Abraham to him, saying that Lazarus's misery and the rich man's enjoyment were reversed. But even this isn't really a statement about wealth itself. It doesn't even overtly say that God rewarded Lazarus because of his misery or punished the rich man because of his enjoyment. Furthermore, the rich man's wickedness was about more than just enjoying his wealth. In the parable, Lazarus was basically right outside his door every morning, and yet he took no notice of the needy man and didn't offer to help him, even though he easily could have. And at worst, it would have cost him a little money and perhaps some disapproval from his wicked friends. From this, we can also tell a few more things about the character of the rich man. Namely, he probably never gave to the poor. If he had, wouldn't Lazarus be the first person he thought of? Yet, according to the parable, Lazarus never received anything from the rich man. I suppose you could say that this is just a very extreme example and that you don't really need to be this badly negligent in order to be committing a sin, but I don't think you're justified in inferring from this parable that being wealthy is sinful by itself. At most, you could reasonably infer that wealth and enjoyment can be dangerous and distract people from their obligations to others. I admit that, but it's not the richness itself that's wicked. Next, what about the rich people who Jesus met in his ministry? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.